Alrighty, so YouTube is acting up. So I might have more than one video that says it's going live. Just ignore that. Uh, I don't know which one is which, so I'm not messing with it. But anyway, <clears throat> I wanted to do a video about Detroit, which is pretty late. So it was like two weeks ago at this point, I think. But I got really sick while I was there. So, yeah. I didn't want to do a video when I was sick and great, I'm getting an internal server error so I can't see chat. That's fantastic. Let's not do that. Wow. Alright, so I'm having a lot of issues. YouTube is on crack. <sighs> anyway, so... I see people over there. Let me know if you can see me and hear me. Because at this point, like I said, it's acting up quite a lot. And I don't know what's going on. And I don't want to be talking to myself for probably like two hours. <laughs> let's be honest. It's probably going to be about two hours. Alright, so everything's fine. That's good. <clears throat> Alright, so anyway, like I was saying before, I was so really interrupted by YouTube. Um, I got really sick while I was in Detroit. I unfortunately started feeling under the weather on Friday, which, mind you, I had gotten there Thursday. So, yeah, it kind of put a damper on things. Um, I don't know what happened. I don't know if it was just a mixture of things. I slept like crap Thursday night on top of the weather change, on top of being around a lot more people than I'm used to being around. Uh, I don't know. I really don't, but whatever I had, it was pretty bad. Um, I was actually um, waking up soaking wet with sweat. And I know that's disgusting, but, like, I never sweat, like, ever. <laughs> so that was really, really odd to me. And it happened for, like, three or four nights in a row. Because I thought maybe it was the room. Because our room was really nice, but the temperature was always a little off. Like, it was always slightly too hot or too cold. And then, like, the comforters and stuff were really thick, so I'm thinking maybe that was the reason, but no. Because it happened while it was after I came home, and I don't know. It was just gross. But anyway, <clears throat> so it took me a good week to recover um, and even be even remotely normal. And then I'm still a little congested. I think it's just weather. Um, but other than congestion, I feel okay. But... Yeah, so short of the long, that's why I didn't do a video sooner. So, <clears throat> for the people that are here, um, what do you want me to go over first? Do you want me to go over what I got from the convention? Or do you want me to talk about it? Because I'm going to do both, but as far as order, I don't really... I'm kind of ambivalent. Like, I kind of want to show you what I got first, and then tell you, I guess, more about how everything went or whatever but in the end you know you guys are watching so <laughs> Ugh. <clears throat> while we're waiting on responses um i did get my massage yesterday which was nice um but I didn't have any caffeine yesterday, which never happens. Like, hello. <laughs> but my massage point was a little bit later, and I didn't want to drink it beforehand because I just didn't want to do that. And then afterward, I was supposed to meet up with a friend from work, but of course she canceled on me, as usual. So I was planning on getting like something then. But so she canceled. I was like, okay, whatever. And by that point, it was like 3 o'clock. And I'm like, I don't really want to be adjusting caffeine this late. But then when I got home, I was only awake for a few hours. And then I crashed. So, yeah. That's what I did. Uh, show us what you got. Okay. That's kind of like what I wanted to do anyway. Now, first of all, I want to say thank you. Um, there were a couple of people that donated on Fresh's channel for a lot of these things. Like, I didn't really pay for much of anything. Um, 
Mind you, I didn't get a whole lot, but I got what I wanted. So I think that's more important. But thank you to those that donated. You totally don't have to do it, but thank you. I feel like a jerk if I don't say it. So thank you to those people, uh, to Fresh, to Dawn, and Daniel, Zesty, uh, I think Vapor Ross Vape, and there was some other people. I can't remember them all. It kind of was like a long <clears throat> thing that was going on. But anyway, so that being said, um, the main thing that I wanted, that I knew that I wanted ahead of time was the Iconic. I've raved about the Icon for a while. Like, I'm like, it's right here. Like, when I'm testing e liquid, it's usually what I'm using to do so. Um, as far as an all day vape type thing, I'm either using the Drop or the Icon. Those are just my two top atomizers. I love them. So, I've been wanting the Iconic for a long time, but it's been said by a lot of people that it really is intended for squonking <clears throat> and since I didn't have a squonker for the longest time I just couldn't see buying it because there was another RDA that I got that was kind of suited more towards being a squonker and I got it and didn't really like it as a dripper so I didn't want that to happen again and kind of have like a misrepresentation of the device so I wanted to wait till I had a squonker. So I have a squonker now, which I'll get to in a minute. <clears throat> I think I've showed it to you guys maybe once before. But I did get the Iconic there. Um, since Vanny Vape was there, I just figured it'd be the perfect opportunity to grab one. Um, so I did that. I got the black and the red um, just because it went with the G-Box. And pink is my favorite color, but my secondary would probably be like red or purple. So I got the red one. I just liked the way that it looked. Um, I haven't used it a whole lot because I know a lot of people say, you know, once you start squonking, you know, you won't want to go back to, you know, regular RDAs. This is twice that I've proved them wrong as far as it is to me. I don't know that I like it all that much. I mean, for traveling, it's great. But like all day type thing, I just find regular dripping with an RDA so much easier. Like, it's easier to clean. It's easier to switch flavors. You don't have to fiddle with anything. It's just easier. You don't have to worry about when do I like squonk it? Like when do I not? Like that was like the biggest hurdle that I had with squonking, which I, like I said, I'll get more into that in a minute, was knowing when to squonk because I was using, because Addy sent me his setup to use for the trip because I didn't have anything that I really liked as far as a tank. So he let me borrow his G-Box. And he has the double vision on there, or he had it on there. Um, it's a good RDA, has good flavor and everything. But it, as you can see, you can't see through it. So it's like, when do I need a squonk? Like, I don't know. Like, I was either under squonking, or there was a couple times where I over squonked, and there was just liquid everywhere. Um, more often than not, I just had to pull the top cap off to see like do I need to squonk because I didn't trust it at that point but yeah that's the issue I had anyway so getting back to the iconic um I can't really say too much about it I haven't really messed with the squonking and all that because I'm still kind of just trying to settle back in for being sick and traveling so I just haven't done it plus like I said I don't know that I like squonking all that much but as far as the way that it looks and like the quality of it it's nice especially for the price, like, it's on par with, like, what are those things called? I haven't used them in forever. <sighs> oh, my God. My other favorite, like, it was, like, the previously favorite device that I was using. I can't even remember what it is. A goon. It's kind of, like, on par with a goon, like, the way that that's um, the quality of that, which is, their the goons are good quality. Um... Sturdy metal, I don't see it like breaking down or anything like that. But again, I just got it like two weeks ago. Um, it is a little bit dirty because I was using it just as a regular dripper. Has a very unique deck. As you can see if my thing would go and focus more. It has those steam pipe thingies. 
that go underneath the coil. Now I do prefer single coil, so I know it can be, and it's probably supposed to be for dual, but that doesn't stop me from anything else. The drop is technically, I think, supposed to be dual or whatever. I just do single. It's just the way I like it. I don't, I'm not a huge fan of dual coils. <clears throat> um, but yeah, I mean, it, it's solid. It has a lot of airflow. Um, so if you vape higher wattage, that's good for you. Not so important for me because I vape very low wattage, like 23. Or no, this is 30 because my coil is rather low resistant wise. Like this is only a 0.2 coil. So I did have to bump it up quite a bit, but it's still fairly low. So yeah, I mean, it's nice quality. The drip tip's nice. It's a little bit like wet right now, so I can't really remove it very well. There it goes. It's like, I think these are called an 810, which I didn't even know. <laughs> I was watching videos. Um, I was watching some from Mike and I think Mark, them. Um, because I was looking up, because I did buy the recurve. I know that's like, a, <laughs> I'm like all over the place. Um, I did end up getting the recurve because I really wanted it. And I was just kind of waiting for it to be not pre-sale. I hate buying things pre-sale. I'm too impatient for that shit. I can't do it. But I really wanted that device. It's meant for single coil. It is meant for squonking still again. But I don't know. I was able to find it from eSiggity with a coupon for like $30 shipped and it's supposed to be here tomorrow. So I, I just couldn't pass it up. It was like clawing at me. Um, I have no willpower. So um, thank you, Vapor Ross. Vape. I've never seen a bad shirt on a hot woman. <laughs> I'm sorry, I love Randy Orton. I'm sorry, just look away. <laughs> This is one of the older ones, too. So this is, like, when he was, like, in his prime, looks-wise, anyway. Anyway, um, yeah, so I really wanted the recurve. I ordered it, so that will be here. It's supposed to be here tomorrow. Really excited about that. I love the way it looks. I just think it's a sexy-ass RDA, and I've heard so many good things about it, and I haven't been disappointed with any of Mike's RDAs thus far. Like I said, I just got the Iconic, so I can't say too much about it, but I can tell that it's, like, not poorly made, like it's sturdy and quality, whatever. Anyway, enough about that. <clears throat> Moving on to the squonker, because we keep talking about the squonker. Um, and there is something attached to it that we'll have to get to as well. We're going to ignore what's on here first. Um, so this is the G-Box. Addie Tooney gave this to me. Um, ended up buying one myself, or actually the viewers bought it for me. Um, so I have two technically, but um, we're not going to talk about that right now. Um, so this is what I've been using as far as a squonker. Um, and that's why I got the red and so you can see, well, I could just put it on there, I guess. Right. I just thought they would go perfectly together. So I'm not sure if I plan on buying any more squonkers, maybe one, just because I have so many squonk squonkable, <laughs> squonk capable RDAs that having one just doesn't really make sense, but that's what they look like, mm, you know, matchy matchy, cause you know, Mike's all about that. So it is his RDA. So I figured I should kind of follow suit. Uh, the recurve isn't as matchy matchy. I bought the gold one. I still think it might look nice on this. I don't really know, but I wanted the gold one. Um, I was either going to get the gold or the rainbow, and where I ordered it from, I don't think they had the rainbow, so I just said, F it, I'll get the gold. I don't have any gold RDAs, and I really like the drip tip that comes with it. That's, like, the main reason I wanted it is for the drip tip. I know that's, like, stupid, but <clears throat> whatever. Anyway, so the G-Box, I had been using it, like, all during, like, my travels to and from Detroit, um, mind you, on the way back, I didn't use it that much because I was very sick at that point and wasn't vaping that much because every time I would vape, it would just cause me to cough. Um, but as a squonker, I mean, it's fine. I don't really have a whole lot to compare to. Um, I think it just really depends on the atomizer you put on it, which kind of segues to the atomizer. This one, 
um, was one of the more exciting pur purchases because it was just kind of random. Dawn from Adore E-Liquid recommended me get this because uh, she really likes it and I trust her judgment because we're fairly similar on like our taste in like equipment and flavorings and things like that. She's pretty particular about her stuff. So I figured if she likes it, I'll check it out. I had like this credit of money that was like available to me. So I might as well. <clears throat> this is the dot mod V2 with the Trinity cap. Now, I don't know if I have, the, cause like the top cap that you see on there now is not the one that comes with it. I don't know why I even bothered getting a particular color because I knew I was going to switch it out anyway. But I really like the Tiffany blue. I don't have any mods that are exactly this color. It's a very beautiful color. And it comes with the fanciest, I mean, for the price it should. But, like, the packaging, it had its own little bag, which I think is over there somewhere. But this is the packaging. Like, look at that. <laughs> like, what? It's insane. Like, this little tool thing, and then this... I don't remember what was in there. Oh, I think the drip tip was in there. What happened? Oh, I was about to say, what happened to my drip tip? It's on the thing. <clears throat> so this is what the actual top cap that comes with it looks like. It's pretty standard for their... Um, this one is adjustable, though. I don't know if the other ones were. This is my first authentic dot mod, I think. But yeah. That's so what the top cap looks like. It's a very beautiful, like I said, Tiffany blue. It kind of looks like a seafoam green in the camera. It might be. The lighting in here is not good. But when I saw it, it was Tiffany blue. I don't know. <laughs> it's a pretty color, like a bluish green metallic color. So that's what the actual top cap looks like. Comes with coils and whatnot, um, extra screws, uh, the squonk pin, which is in it. Um, the cool thing about this mod and why I decided to grab it is number one, because Dawn recommended it. Number two, because I really like that it squonks from the post. So it actually is over your coil instead of trying to feed up through it. Because the problem I was having with the double vision and the way that that's set up, and most squonkers are set up this way, is that it feeds from the bottom. And some, sometimes if you don't squonk, enough or don't let it set enough before vaping after you squonk the bottoms will be saturated but like where the coil is it won't be so you'll get a dry hit which sucks but you can see hopefully i don't make a mess <laughs> it feeds through the top so it's less likely to do that and of course if you have dual coils it's probably better for that but i liked that design and i was honestly looking at the uh dot v2 anyway like it was a while ago i was looking for so i'm the type of person like if i can get free shipping i want free shipping like if i have to pay 75 dollars, like whatever so this is one of the things i was looking at <clears throat> i didn't end up getting it but anyway i got it there it's really pretty nice little sandwich style captures if you can tell it just captures the coils in there, like in between things when you unscrew it. I'm not going to do that because it's going to mess things up. Uh, Nick Devine was nice enough to set this up for me. He put his coil in there, got it all ready for me. So thank you to him. Um, if I have his information, I will let you know. He makes really nice coils. Everyone raves about them. Um, I've only recently gotten to try them. So he gave me also a couple of extra ones of his coils. I don't know if you can really see the detail of the coils through here. Not really. Um, <laughs> but uh, his tag is n.divine83. He's on YouTube and Instagram. You can check him out if you like coil builds. I'm not super crazy into coil builds, but I have a couple of people I follow just because I think it's interesting. Like I follow, I think I'm Turk and another person I can't remember the name of because I'm terrible. My memory is just ridiculous. He was on Fresh's show. That's all I remember. Um, so that's what they look like. It's not going to focus because it's too... 
it's too detailed or whatever. They're nice. They look nice. And they vape well. So that's that. <clears throat> now, the Trinity cap was a separate purchase. They were actually out when I was there. But I figured I could just grab one online. Usually the caps aren't too ridiculous to buy. Because, like, the mod or the RDA itself, I think, was a little bit cheaper there opposed to buying online. I, I don't really know. Um, but the caps are usually about the same. So I figured I'd, I could just get the cap later. But I told Dawn about it, and she's like, oh, I have extra. Do you want one? Nicest lady ever. So I was like, yeah, okay. So that's how I got the cap. The thing I like about this cap is, number one, it looks nice. It reminds me of almost like a lantern or something, or old-timey, the gold and the glass. I don't know. Um, the airflow is really nice. It's very smooth. And also, number one, you can see through it. So you know visually when you need to squonk compared to the other, any other squonk, squonkable RDA I have, you have to actually remove the cap to actually visit, visually see when you need to squonk again. And me, I'm paranoid and all that. So I like to see things. It's just a thing. So me being able to see when I need to squonk and everything like that is just great. So that's why I like this one quite a lot. It is expensive when you add everything together. It's like an, I don't even know. I think the dot mod is like 80 bucks or something. It's not cheap. The Trinity cap is 15. So you add it together, it's almost $100 for a setup. Um, not even including the mod itself. It is what it is. Um, it's nice though. And I don't really have a whole lot of like higher end things. Like I have the K15, which sits in a drawer not being used. Um, but that's kind of the extent of my higher end things, which I mean, the higher end thing is, is whatever. It's not really that important as long as it vapes well, who gives a shit, but it's just kind of a nice thing to have, like just a couple of like prestige or whatever, premium, whatever, bullshit, bullshit. Anyway, moving on. Um, are people still here? Because I don't see anybody talking. And YouTube is making me paranoid. Because <clears throat> like I said, I had so many issues just going live today. Like, I had to stop and restart the thingy about five times. And then now I think there's two shows on. And I don't want to mess with it. All right, so we're here. Good. <laughs> I'm sorry, guys. I'm just I'm paranoid. When I don't see people talking, I'm like, God, did it go offline and it's not telling me? Anyway, so moving on to other stuff I got. Um, I'm going to I have more gear to talk about, but I'm going to switch over to e-liquid just to give it a little bit of variety. I didn't get a whole lot of e-liquid there because I'm a DIYer. Why am I going to buy a bunch of e-liquid? doesn't really make too much sense. Um, I did a, I did that last year. And I'll tell you, I still have probably 80% of what I got from um, Detroit last year because I don't use it. It's kind of like one of those things, and I'll get more into that in a minute, where you vape it there, it tastes great, and then you buy it, you get it home, and it's like, is this even the same shit? Like, it doesn't even taste the same. And you let it steep, and it's so obnoxious. So I've really, really tried to stifle myself and not buy a bunch of e liquid. But I did get a couple of items, one of which I can't find. I am missing one. Oh, it's on the floor. <laughs> I try to keep everything in this bag so it's readily available. But this kind of toppled out of the top. Anyway, so moving on. Um... With your VIP purchase of your ticket, you got $50 worth of stuff, supposedly. Is this $50 worth of stuff? Probably not. Like, mm. But whatever. I had to buy the ticket anyway. So I got the Candy Shop Straw Melon Sour Belt. Just like a big e-liquid thing. I haven't vaped this yet just because... 
with me being sick and everything, something sour is not going to sit well. Um, and I just kind of forgot about it, to be honest. <clears throat> I did do a drip test on it. Tastes like it might be okay. Yeah, it tastes like it might be okay. Um, it's just got sour watermelon. Um, I guess this is supposed to be strawberry and watermelon. I mainly get watermelon from it. It doesn't taste bad. Um, I think it's three milligrams from a company I've never heard of. It is fairly sweet, so it's interesting to see how that will go. So I don't really like sweetener that much. Uh, but yeah, it's, it's not bad. Um, I think I, tr did I trade this with Leilani? Because I got this and I got another one. I might have, I think I traded maybe for this one. But I had like a buttercream ice cream thing that I knew I would not vape. So I gave that to her. It turns out she didn't really like it either. <laughs> um, I got this Ohero lychee fruit. Um, this actually was Leilani's. She gave it to me. It's just a lychee flavor. Um, I don't know if I drip tested this. Hello, Daniel. I was just talking about you not that long ago. This one, you really have to like lychee. Lychee is one of those polarizing flavors you either love or hate, typically. Um, I tend to like it. I don't love it, but it's okay. Um, again, very sweet. That's pretty much the theme with everything in Detroit. And it's kind of the same every year. Is The juices are just ridiculously sweet. And since I don't do sweet vapes, it really just turns me off to most of them. Like, there was actually a couple boosts where the e-liquid itself was good. Like there was one that had a peach tea, really good peach tea. I didn't get a throat hit, which is crazy because I always get throat hit with peach pretty much, but it was just so damn sweet. I'm like, I can't, I know I won't vape it. So I had to pass. And then similarly in the front, there was this lemonade booth. It was like twist something lemonade, whole bunch of different lemonades. Uh, the pink punch was particularly good, but again, too sweet. Like, I, I don't know if I can do it. And the flavor itself was just amazing, amazing flavor. Too freaking sweet. Can't do it. <laughs> they should have like the, like how they, how they have nicotine strengths. They should have like sweetener or no sweetener, like a diet version or some shit. Cause I can't do the sweet. <clears throat> so that limited, you know, what I wanted to, pick up or purchase. Um, of all of these, I only purchased these two, which I'll get to in a minute. Um, Vaptasia was doing this thing, the promotion, whatever. If you took a picture with the item, your favorite out of their line or whatever, <clears throat> they would give you the bottle for free. This one is Milk of the Poppy. It's a dragon fruit, strawberry, like custard. Um, tasted really good when I was there. This was one that when I got it back and maybe it just needs to sit. I don't know. Um, it wasn't as good. Now, mind you, I've done, I've actually reviewed for them. I did the fruit and custard line of theirs. It was very good. And I'm picky about custard because I hate Capella's. Well, I say that now, but I'm just very particular about custard and I like theirs quite a bit. Um, so I like their stuff. But yeah, it's like, I don't know. Maybe I have to tank it because I think when I was there, it wasn't a tank. But just stripping that, there's like this little bit of an off note. Not a fan of. <clears throat> um... Anyway, <laughs> these two are among the same lines. This is from Culinary Confections. I really like the cantaloupe. It's like a cantaloupe uh, milk, which is kind of an interesting profile. I don't really see that too much. Usually if you see milks, it's like a strawberry milk or whatever. But the cantaloupe was an interesting thing. And as you can see, all of these, they're dark. 
you look at my e-liquid, I mixed this before Detroit, perfectly clear. And this is, I think, two milligram. So not too much under the three milligram that these are. So you can't even blame it on like the strength of the neck because it's virtually the same. Um, clear. <laughs> Big difference and these are not nick salts and people are like oh the nick salts they don't oxidize whatever this is regular nicotine and guess what it don't mix it don't oxidize either so that is a little bit annoying it could be the sweetener in there as well sweetener will tend to turn uh your juice darker and i don't use sweetener hardly ever in my stuff so and it also could be the flavoring as well if you try like certain bakery flavors they'll just have an inherent color to them but anyway um tasted really good at the show another one and then get it home and it's like i don't know i think i'm gonna try this one again like now just to see because i don't remember if it was this one or just i know for sure it was this one but i'm pretty sure it was either that or the watermelon and it's just like it's so frustrating because it's like and this happens with um, vape shops. Like, I'll go to, that's why, one of the reasons I don't go to vape shops anymore. It's like, you think, oh, I'm doing a really good thing. I'm testing out the e-liquid before I buy it. Because, you know, when you buy it online, you can't really do that. So I'm going to go to a vape shop and be smart about it. But then you test it at the vape shop and it tastes good. And you get it home and it tastes like it's a completely different e-liquid. And the first couple times it happened to me, I just figured it was coincidence or whatever. But literally, like, almost every single time, like, there's no coincidence there. Like, something's going on. And I don't know what it is. I don't know what they do. I wish I did. Because, you know, I, I tried letting it steep, aerating it, and different setups. Never seems to matter. So... Usually I end up throwing those things away or giving them to people. Luckily, where I work now, there I know of a couple different vapors there, so I can give it to them. <laughs> but before that, because, like, yeah, my stepmom and my dad vape, but they have their particular profiles that they stick to, and usually these things weren't those profiles, so they don't like them either. Uh, what is not a cake? I got some, and it's so good. I hated Nana's cake. <laughs> Big surprise. Um, mainly because there's an anise note in there that I pick up really clearly and I hate anise. Damn it. So yeah, I did not like Nana's cake. It's supposed to be like a lemon pound cake or some shit. I don't know. I've never had it in real life. It's an Italian thing. I don't know. If you're talking about the flavor art one, if you're talking about something else, I don't know. That's the only honest cake I'm aware of. But yeah, I didn't care for it because of the an anise, anise, whatever. The booty. <laughs> um, I just can't. I can't with it. So... Yeah, I guess while I'm vaping on this, the Convention itself was pretty small. I swear it keeps getting smaller every year. Um, they did move us to a different area than they usually have us in. So I couldn't tell exactly, like, comparatively how big it was compared to last year. Um, but I've never really blown away by the convention itself, to be honest. Because um, it's generally, like, e-liquid. And, like I said, it's just... I don't even know if I'm going to test e-liquid next year i really don't because i don't know if that's what's getting me sick but i swear i get sick every freaking convention this was the worst especially because i got it so soon but like every year at least after it i'm sick so i don't know if it's like the testers like you do use different tips on it but you have to think like are these tips really protecting you from i, I don't know Plus, I, I just never really seem to find anything I like anyway. And I get it home and it tastes different. Okay, so I can tell it might need to set a little bit, but it does taste vaguely the same.
And that's another issue too, is a lot of the testers are in tanks and I don't do tanks, I do drippers. And there is a flavor difference typically between a dripper and a tank, at least for me. So uh, I do have my baby beast though. So maybe that'll give him some action because he's just kind of been chilling. <laughs> um, yeah, see Daniel, uh, that's what I'm saying. I'm like, I, I don't know. It just, I, like I said, I get sick every single year. So it's got to be, I mean, it could be the sleep too, because I never sleep very well. But ironically, I will say, um, the Motor City Casino Hotel was actually really nice. I was very skeptical about it, because if you look online, you can't really see many pictures of the rooms, which is usually not a good sign. But it was actually gorgeous. Like, the when you walk in, like the casino itself was just like, meh. But I'm not big on casinos any, anyway. I literally walked through it, and that was it. Um, I was kind of tempted to do a little bit of gambling, but because you're allowed to smoke there, just being around that, I couldn't do it. Um, and that was another issue too. Thursday, I spent the whole day at my grandma's house and she smokes. So I think that definitely had something to do with it too. So at first I thought it was just a cough I was getting because my cough was the first thing to come. But yeah, so I didn't want to be around any more freaking smoke. <clears throat> Yeah, I know. I just kind of ignored the run because that happens all the time. Run, Rin, Ron, all that kind of stuff. But um, yeah, so I didn't want to be chilling at the casino anyway. So casino itself was meh, but the the rooms, the hotel and everything, they were just gorgeous. I meant to do like some filming inside the room, but I just forgot between being sick and then running around everywhere. Um. But the beds were very comfortable, probably the most comfortable hotel bed I've ever stayed in. Uh, the bathroom was gorgeous. It had like that nice, um, I keep meaning not to put my thing down so loud because it picks up so clearly. Sorry about that. Um, it has like those, it looks like a separate sink, like it's a external sink type thing. I don't know if you know what I'm talking about. Um, the bathtub was super deep. And it had like a waterfall faucet. It was really weird, but super awesome. And then like it had a separate shower, a stand-up shower. Um, it just, it was just really nice. Um, and I will say that I slept better there than I probably slept in any hotel room ever. Because uh, usually like every year, I barely get any sleep at all. And I did bring my little fan. So I think that helped a lot too. But actually slept a little bit. I can only imagine how much more sick I would be if I didn't sleep at all, but it still was pretty bad. Hello, La Natalia from Russia. I actually found out a couple years ago that I'm part Russian, like a very small amount, but I always thought like growing up for the longest time, I was always told German Polish, that's it. And then we found out that I guess my great grandfather was part Russian. So I thought that was cool. Anyway, so getting on to what I've been vaping on and like not really telling you about, it's like I said, I'm cantaloupe milk, but it has almost like a milkshake ish or like a cake batter vanilla note to it too. Uh, it was really good when it was in a tank at the convention. In a dripper, it's okay. I think it might be just maybe too over flavored. I don't know. And I keep slamming things. I'm sorry. Um, the other thing I got from them was a Waterloo, which is, I don't honestly remember what it is supposed to be. Some kind of watermelon. The reason I got two of them is because <laughs> I'm a sucker for sales and the two was a lot cheaper, like cost effective than just getting one. I don't know what this is supposed to be. Some kind of watermelon. It tastes similar to the cantaloupe, but watermelon, I guess. So I don't know if it's supposed to be a watermelon milk. It has like bananas on it. So I don't know if it's supposed to be watermelon banana. 
but mainly I get like watermelon and like a vanilla milkish note. I don't know. Two hours a night. Fuck that. <laughs> nope. I slept from my massage last night or yesterday afternoon. Um, I think I fell asleep at like four. I don't really remember when I fell asleep. I don't know if it was that early. I know I fell asleep for a good three, four hours. And then I was up until like four in the morning. And then I slept until about 11. Momo kept waking me up because she was out of water and she wanted it now. And I did not feel like getting up. <laughs> so I just kept going back to sleep and she kept waking me up. She kept jumping on my desk and knocking shit over. <sighs> Um, yeah, or I could just move the mic further up or something. I could just get a, because, like, the problem is, is, like, I don't have a cloth, like, this big, unless it's, like, a freaking, <laughs> like, bath towel. So, I don't know. And I just forget. So, I'll either have to get, like, some kind of displacement mat or something, or just keep the mic up there. Maybe it being higher up will help. I don't know. I don't know if you can still hear me very well. I would imagine if you can't, you'd say something. Because typically you do. So I guess we'll just find out that way. Anyway, last e-liquid. You guys know I ramble. So it shouldn't be any uh, surprise. So this one is from Verdict Vapors. This is a rainbow cookie. But it's... It's like a sherbet cookie, essentially. So I thought it was very unique when I was there. Um, it's probably the most unique flavor I tried. Mind you, I didn't try about 90% of the e-liquid there. Because at that point, it was Saturday. I didn't really... Or no. We went briefly Saturday. So the time I spent there doing stuff was on Sunday. And by that point, I was sick. I was tired. I was just done. <laughs> Um, so I didn't try 90% of what was there as far as e-liquid, but off of what I tried, this was the most unique. Um, was this in a tank? Probably. I don't think anyone had drippers there. It's typically not something that they do. Kind of makes sense because you're not going to expect someone to drip. I guess I could just use my own dripper, but then you have to switch wicks and shit. I don't know. Maybe that's what I'll have to do. If I'm going to test stuff, just make sure I have a bunch of those easy wick thingies. The ones that my dad likes. It's the cotton threads, I think is what they're called. Dawn from e uh, Adore E-Liquid sells them now. They look like a little shoelace on each side and it has cotton in the middle. Just super easy to thread in and out. Maybe I'll just have to do that for like with my own dripper so that way I know what it tastes like on the dripper and I'm not contaminating crap. Maybe that's what I'll have to do. Because I think usually they do have like a separate bottle of the stuff that you can actually drip. So I don't know. That would solve a lot of stuff. Anyway, <clears throat> when I tasted it in the tank at the thing, it was like a rainbow sherbet sugar cookie mixture. And it just was very unique. And it wasn't over -sweet overly sweetened because we did talk to the guy at the booth Damn it, I slammed it again. We did talk to the guy at the booth for quite a bit between the one gentleman, which I don't remember if he told me his name. He probably did, but I'm horrible with names. And then there was the dude that actually formulated the e-liquids. And he said that he doesn't over, overly sweeten any of them. I think he said the most that they use is like a quarter of a percent of sweetener, which is still kind of a lot, but compared to the 1% and 2% and up that other juice companies or most juice, juice companies add, it's considerably lower. Um, so yeah, I, I respected that. Um, but yeah, their e-liquid was pretty good. The Verdict Vapors, they had a few different ones. What was the other one? Leilani liked, I think the lemon one. It was like a lemon tart or something. I think that's the one that she ended up buying. I don't remember. Because we were talking to two different people. I was talking to the one dude 
that kind of looked like Grim Green. <laughs> and she was talking to the creator, whoever, whatever his name was. Um, if I don't get business cards from people, I don't remember their names. It's bad. Um, while talking with him, and I don't know, if, uh, I'm not going to like call him out or anything, just in case, but he ended up giving me these because he asked me if I had a pod system, like a fix or a, what are those other things called? Um, a sworn, anything like that. And I don't. So he like slyly grabs it and uh, he gave me this. It's by Hankson. I had a hell of a time finding out anything when I got it. I don't know if it's changed since then, like the couple weeks it's been. But this is the Hankson IQ. And there's like something after it that I don't remember. But like there's like the IQ and then there's like this version. It's like a newer version. I don't even know if it's out on the market yet. Um, it's a pod system. I haven't used it yet. Again, been sick. Just haven't really thought about it. Um I should have picked up a Nick Salt for this, but I just didn't think about it again. Um, it looks like an iPod. <laughs> it's pretty fancy, not going to lie. Um, I even searched on YouTube, Google. It just, it was a pain in the booty to find anything on this device. Because I guess, like I said, at the time it wasn't even out yet. If it is now, I don't know. I think I saw maybe two sites that had it. Um, it's kind of pricey. It's like 50, 60 bucks. Um, so I don't know if it's worth it, but it's got this little screen on it, which you probably can't see because it's all blurry, but it has um, battery life and puffs. It's supposed to be a touch screen, but I don't know if it is. Because um, again, I think this is a, uh, what do they call those? Prototype or whatever. But Yeah, it's dry activated. Da, 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 da. But yeah, he just gave this to me. So I was like, oh, that's sweet. Leilani was hating because she's like, dang it, I was talking to the wrong one. So I was getting all the free shit. Like I got this e-juice too. I didn't have to pay for it either. <laughs> uh, well, he said, I don't know. Because he showed, like, the difference between the Nick Salt and this. And because he was saying that, like, this one's colored and their Nick Salt is clear. So I don't think this is Nick Salt. And it doesn't say that it's Nick Salt on it. Whereas the other ones, they were smaller. Because you can see this is big. Like, this is probably the size that the Nick Salt would be. Maybe a little bit bigger. But I don't think these are Nick Salt at all. But that's just my opinion. Like, it doesn't say, I would imagine it would say somewhere if it was Nick Salt. I think maybe now that they're all Nick Salt, but I think when they started, they weren't. When, didn't we have this discussion in Detroit? Because <laughs> Leilani was talking about it. I don't know. Anyway, so that's cool. This is like a little pod system. Um, I'll let you guys know what I think about them or it when I use it. Again, it's kind of hard because there's not much information. Like, you get a look, little booklet, but it literally just doesn't say much of anything. Um, oh, it's called IQ3 Sex. S-E-C-S. That's what it's called. I didn't notice it said the name before. But I would assume that would it just meant something else, three seconds. I don't know why it's called three seconds. Uh, but yeah. Pretty cool. I mean, I got it for free, so I'm not going to complain. You know what I mean? Looks nice. I don't know if it's worth $50. <laughs> That's a little bit expensive. Like when I bought my grandma's um, Swarren, it was like 18 Mind you, it was on sale. But that's my only concern for something like this. Like for like you guys, I don't know if it'd be worth $50. I don't know what justifies that. I don't know. I guess I would know more if I actually used it. <clears throat> okay, well then they flat out lied because they literally said, like, look at the difference between this that's not Nick Salt 
and this, which is clear, that is Nick Salt. See the difference? Like, why would they say that if they were all Nick Salt? Very odd. Anyway, moving on. Other e liquid I got, and I didn't pay for this. Dawn was nice enough to let us just kind of go through her little tote of random stuff. I've already gone through two bottles of it. Um, I actually might mix these two together if I can find the other one. Like I said, Momo was knocking shit around. So um, I got a bunch of Adore e-liquid. I got the Hazy Custard. That was the first one I went through. Haven't had this in a while. You can see it was pretty much toast. So I'm going to mix this with the Hybrid Reserve, which was the next one I was vaping. It pretty much looks just like this, just a tiny little bit. So I'm going to probably mix those two together. Because um, the thing is, is like I don't like taking this to work just in case I go through all this and then I don't have anything to vape. Um, so I moved from that and then I moved on to, this is what I'm vaping. Waping. <laughs> this is what I'm vaping now. The strawberry submission, the strawberry lemonade. You can see <laughs> it's got a major dent in it as well. And then I also grabbed. Yeah, I love hazy custard too. I hadn't had I hadn't had it in a while, and then I remembered very quickly like how much I loved it, and then just like I don't know. I've been like on a fruit kick for the longest time, so I just it, it's surprising to me that I like it because again, I'm more of like a fruit lighter vape person, but the hazy custard is just light enough that I just I don't know, I just love it. Um then I also got peach colada. I'm gonna try it. It was there. Um peach are very, very, very finicky with peach. Most peaches I can't do, but I'm gonna try that one. And then the custard de leche, which I already know that I like. So, yeah. I don't think I've ever tried the peanut, uh, the peach colada. I tried her regular pure peach back in the day. Couldn't do it because the throat hit. But I'm going to try the peach colada and see how it is. Um, but like I said, I've been vaping the strawberry submission uh, for a couple days now. It's already pretty well dented into... So yeah, that's pretty much all the e-liquid I got from the event. Like I said, I didn't get a whole lot, to be honest. The thing, the e-liquid I was most excited about was Adora's e-liquid because I already know that I like it. <laughs> um, plus, it was a surprise. I didn't know it would just be like chill in there and she would just let us go shopping in a tote. Um had a little bag. I think it's over there. I'm not going to get it. But um, who was it? Aspire had like a little bag. It was like a bag of goodies. Um, pretty much just had the spinner in it. It's a pretty decent spinner. Um, I think they're a little bit late on that trend because it seems like this whole fidget spinner thing has died down pretty quickly. But it's a decent spinner, you know spins well <laughs> looks pretty cool when you look at it like that i don't know if you're gonna be able to tell on the camera yeah so yeah i came with the spinner the little tote backpack which i like the one with the drawstring that goes around i was trying to find my one from last year to use this year and i couldn't find it so i ended up buying like an actual purse backpack but i like the drawstring better it's just more comfortable um so I got that. Um, like I said, I didn't get a whole, whole lot. But I did get some things from Addy Tooney. Unfortunately, he couldn't make it. He was, I guess, feeling under the weather. Um, so I guess he got the bug before we did and gave it to us through the internet or something. I don't know. <laughs> But he was sick or whatever, so he didn't go. Which is not a good thing to find out, but, you know, it happens. Um, he probably would have just ended up getting sicker if he came anyway, because both me and Gizzard got sick. So, he did bring or send forth some goodies for us, because he always 
it was just like little things, um, little presents. So even though he wasn't there, he sent forth his presence. I'm trying to find the one. Is it in here? I'm missing one. Where did it go? In here? Yeah, it's in here. All right. So he, I think he polished both or, yeah, he torched both of these. If you don't know, Addy likes to torch things <laughs> like this icon is torched by him. It's a little bit juicy because it was laying on its side and it was full of something. And I'll wash these atomizers out. That's why it was in this little thing to wash. But yeah, he likes to torch things. So that's the icon. And then this is a, I don't know what it is, <laughs> uh, Indie du Duo Atomizer. And that's if it is what it is. He likes to Frankenstein stuff. Like he'll put a top cap from one thing on another. So who knows what it could be? I don't know. Don't really know. <laughs> um, but it's nice. It's got a little four post deck configuration. Nice coil in there. I think that's his coil. Maybe. I don't know. I know he puts his coils in there, but sometimes if it's too low or whatever, I'll switch it out. But I think that's his. And it's torched. The torched ones really go with the alien rainbow because it has like that purple in it. But yeah, so that's that. And then this one is in a double vision box, but it's definitely not double vision because uh, that's what this is. This is a double vision, I guess. And as you can see, this guy is not that. <laughs> so this one is, what is it? A plume veil. This is old school. This is an older atomizer. I actually had a clone of one. Let me see if I still have it. It was a really shitty one though. Because, you know, clones have a different quality level. Blah, blah, level. And my friend, or my dad's friend, like friend of the family, whatever, she had tried vaping. It didn't work for her, so she gave her stuff to me. Most of it was not great. But I still have it. This. No, it's a Mad Hatter. Huh. I might have gotten rid of it because it was just so shitty. But anyway, this one appears to be better as far as quality or whatever. Um, but it's a plume veil. It's older. Probably from like four years ago. He drilled a huge hole in it. <laughs> That's another thing he likes to do is his customization of holes. <laughs> That's a really way, weird way to, to say that he likes to drill holes. Um... I like spitters, but to just come out with one this late in like a company standpoint, it's just kind of weird because most people have kind of moved on. It's not, it was really trending for a while, even beyond vapors, but it just, people don't care anymore. So it was just odd timing in my opinion. But anyway, um, the post is... I want to say it's not a plume veil. I think he Frankenstein this one. Because this deck looks like a similar deck that he had given me before. I guess it could be coincidental. I don't know. But I'm pretty sure that this is a mishmash. He likes to mishmash things. But this deck is whatever deck this is. Might even be a double vision. Let me... No, <laughs> unless he mismatched this atomizer too, which is entirely possible. <clears throat> anyway, the deck is what it is. I don't know what it is. It might be Plume Veil, it might be something else. I don't think it's Plume Veil. 
doesn't really matter. Um, <laughs> hi, ST. <laughs> You're here the perfect time talking about drilling holes. Addy and his customization of holes. So anyway, that is the deck, whatever it is. And then this is the plume veil, which he has torched as well. Torchy, it's not going to focus very well. Because my hands are very shaky. You can see the plume veil kind of there. Where it says plume veil. But yeah, that's it. So, got a, ooh, quite a few atomizers while I was there. I got the dot mod v2 the iconic finally very late on that but i finally did get it uh, i got the g box which is a squonker the mishmash addies from addy tooney that are torched and then some e-liquid so yeah not a whole lot of stuff but good stuff i mean i don't need a whole bunch of stuff because like i was talking to leilani about this the other day and it's like she was talking about um, equipment and stuff that she was looking to buy. Me, unless it's like some, like one of my friends or acquaintances that are coming out with something, I don't think I'm going to buy anything. I have so many, like, I, I don't have anything compared to like the higher like reviewers or whatever, but like I have a good amount of stuff that I just don't need a bunch of stuff. Like I never use it. Like I have one, two, three, four five six seven eight nine ten at least ten mods and the mods that i use on a daily basis are usually my minikin asmodus whatever the fuck this thing is called or every now and then i'll use the alien for like testing stuff i forget that i have like most of the other stuff like mods i have um the g box i'll use on trips but beyond that it's like and then atomizer wise I'm either using the drop or the icon. That's all I use. So buying and buying and buying stuff that are just going to sit is pointless. So I just don't. <laughs> I got the, the recurve again to uh, support uh, a friend. Plus it does look nice. I, I can't lie. It does look nice. and It looks different. So at this point, like, it's got to be very different. Something I don't have, like, a billion of. Or it has to be on sale. <laughs> Sales do get me. I won't lie about that. That's how this baby prince came into my life. Um, Dawn did say that the mesh coil in this is really nice. And I haven't tried that yet. So I'll definitely check that out. Because it's just been sitting pretty much since I bought it. <laughs> Um, no, Rin does not drill things. Rin tried to drill something and she ended up screwing it up. I don't even know if I still have it. Uh, but essentially it was a RSST, one of the Genesis atomizer or whatever you would call it. Because the RSST hole is super, super small. Like, I don't even think I have anything these days that would compare to it. Maybe the plume veil. No. No, that's not the plume veil. <clears throat> um, like, even this plume veil, I don't know if you could see those little holes. Even those are bigger than what the RSST hole was. Like, it was, like pinhole so i tried drilling that out myself because it just was too tight and i ended up making her a whore like because it was too big and then once you're too big <laughs> not really much you can do i tried to like epo epoxy it and then like redrill it it was a mess so no i don't i don't mess with drills like if i need anything drilled or anything like that i would ask addy tooney to do it because he knows what he's doing i do not so, yeah, I wouldn't want to ruin an atomizer by trying to do that again because it was a mess. <laughs> um, yeah, I heard it's really good for squonking. My only thing is 
because I don't know how much I like squonking, but when I, if I do travel or whatever, it'll be nice to have a couple of different squonks that I can use. Um, I don't know. Plus, I mean, technically you could still use it as a dripper. It's just kind of designed to squonk. So, and it's my first postless RDA as well. So I'm pretty sure that qualifies as postless because I think Mike said it in his review or not his review, his premiere, whatever you want to call it. <laughs> um, so yeah, I have never had a postless RDA either. Anyway, so that took entirely too long, but you should be used to it by now. Oh, another thing. And the reason I don't have this with everything else because I put these away. One of the other exciting things that I did not know about, it was actually Yeti's uncle who, he pointed me in the wrong direction as far as like the company because he said flavor art was there. So I'm like looking for flavor art, like the hell. Capella was there. I didn't even know Capella was there. I don't know if it was just like a random thing. If like if it was like a last minute thing or whatever. I didn't know they were going to be there. So I grabbed their silver line, which this was something I was going to get a few flavors from anyway. So it was nice that I was able to grab them there for free and have like the whole new silver line there. Um, I don't even know if these are all the flavors. Oh, it wasn't. <laughs> It was a good amount of flavors. I was really excited about that because I know these I will use. Like those e-liquids, they might be chilling. I don't know. But flavors I will use. Um, so cinnamon sugar, black currant, biscuit, blueberry extra. Uh, or is that? This might be the one I bought. That doesn't belong in there. Um, so biscuit, rainbow candy, apple snacks, meringue. 27 fish, which I definitely was going to buy, and acai. There might be some missing, but pretty much the whole um, silver line, like the new flavors that they just came out with, I grabbed. So I was super excited about that. Because it's a good amount of flavors. These just here are eight flavors. So yeah, excited about them. I haven't tried any of them because I'm lazy. <laughs> But I was very excited to get those. And I didn't, like I said, I didn't know they were going to be there. So it was a complete surprise just to see them chilling. And honestly, if Yeti hadn't, point, hadn't pointed me in that direction, I would have never noticed them. Because they were just such a small booth. And there wasn't a whole lot going on. And I kind of was trying to avoid contact, like eye contact and everything with the e-juice people. Because some of them are very aggressive. And... I'll either go one or two ways. I'll either cave or I'll be really bitchy. And I didn't want to do either. So I just did not look. Um, am I from Detroit? Yes, I am. Well, technically, I'm from a suburb near Detroit. Not from actual Detroit. But usually when people think about Michigan, they're not going to know what Dearborn is or Taylor. Um, but I was born in Dearborn Hos or Oakwood Hospital in Dearborn Heights. So yeah, I'm from I'm from Michigan, to put it that way, uh, technically. But we moved here when I was very young, so I don't know if it really counts anymore. <laughs> I only lived there like two years when I was a baby. Uh, but most of my family is from that area. Anyway, uh, so as T says, it is postless. So yeah. I'm not good with the whole postless thing, because I've never had an mm -hmm. atomizer that was postless. I was just always worried about not knowing, like, how long to make the leads and all that. So I just never bought one. Uh, Oporto? Yeah, I don't know where that is. Where on the hand is that? <laughs> That's what you have to do. Like, where are you on the hand? See, I always liked Michigan, but I don't know if it's 
if I'm biased because I have so much family there, so I just associate Michigan with my family, and that's why I like it so much. I don't know. Um, I actually was thinking very deeply or seriously into moving there when I was in my early 20s. Me and my best friend at the time were thinking about moving up there, but it didn't end up happening. Oh, Portugal. I thought you were talking about Michigan because you asked if I was from Detroit. <laughs> like I never heard of uh, that. Yeah, I know where Portugal is. Kind of. I, I know what it is. Put it that way. I'm not good with geography. Yeah, I know the that the recurve comes with the tool. And that's one of the things I really like about it. I didn't even know it was a postless deck until I watched Mike's um, video about it. Or, no, I don't think he mentioned that in his video. Because I watched a couple different videos just to see what people thought of it. I knew I was going to get it anyway, but I just wanted to see what people liked or whatever about it. I forget who it was, but they had mentioned you can use the shorter end of their tool to know exactly where you need to cut the coil. I thought that was... Or it might have been Vaping Biker. I think it was Vaping Biker. So anyway, that's what I got from Detroit. I think everything. Um, Leilani did get me a purse. I don't know if you guys care about that. Most of you are dudes. <laughs> um, she also got me this necklace. I put it on a string because I don't know if the chain is going to bother me. But it's just a cute little heart. The little stone on top. Crystal, whatever. I've been wearing that. It's cute. Kind of matched the purse. Um... She also gave me some like little makeup items and stuff like that. But again, I don't know if you guys care about that shit. So um, yeah, that's pretty much I think everything I got. Uh, yeah. So going on talking about the actual convention, like I said, I felt bad because I got sick so early on. I didn't really want to do anything. So me and Leilani just kind of chilled in the hotel. <laughs> Which I was perfectly fine with. I hope she was. Because I know when we were talking, she's talking about clubbing and karaoke and this and that. And we didn't end up doing any of that. Uh, so she said that she didn't care that we didn't do that. That she was fine. But some people just say that to be polite or whatever. I hope I didn't like put a damper on anything. I personally had a good time. It was nice just chilling with Leilani. As it was the first time we had met. We talk like every day through usually like Google Hangouts or whatever. But being in person is different. Um, but yeah, I had a blast with her. Um, that's mainly who I spent probably 80% of the time with. Um, so Friday, we didn't really do much of anything. We hung out in the casino until our room was ready. And we chilled there for a minute. Then we had noodles. Don't mention noodles to Dawn. <laughs> Dawn was very displeased with the noodles. Uh, we went to Johnny Noodle House because I wanted to go. I wanted to have authentic ramen because I never had it before. It got good reviews and it was close-ish. So I wanted to go there. Um, I honestly can say I, I wasn't thrilled with it. It wasn't disgusting like the, what she was describing. But I got something slightly different, so I don't know if that had to do with it. I don't know. Um, I just got the vegetable broth with regular ramen, and then I added mushroom and green onion. It was very bland, but, I mean, it's a vegetable broth, so I don't know. It just wasn't very um, spiced or seasoned or whatever. Um, I did try everyone from the tables, soup or whatever. I didn't like any of theirs either, so I don't know. It was whatever. Uh, my noodles, I think, were the best from the table as far as my tastes were concerned. But it was just very bland. Um, from there, we just kind of went back to the hotel. I wanted to sleep because I was just... I had gotten no sleep the night before. And I was already starting to feel sick. <clears throat> so I took a nice hot bath in that deep-ass tub. That tub was divine. 
um, which did help. And then I went to sleep. Next day we had breakfast or brunch or whatever it was. And then eventually made it to the convention. Didn't stay there long because uh, Leilani had mentioned that she didn't want, want to really buy anything to the next day because Sunday is the day where they're trying to get rid of stuff and things are cheaper. So uh, Fresh asked if we wanted to get lunch because I think at that point it had been a while since we had eaten. So I was like, yeah, let's let's leave. I'm over it. Like my the shoes that I had worn were not comfortable for walking around and standing. So I was like, yeah, let's get out of here. So I ended up leaving and going to a Cuban place, which I don't think I've ever had Cuban food before. Although what I got was not very, especially Cuban. It was just a salad. Um, it was good. I mean, it was a salad. It's not really much you can mess up with the salad. Um, then we had creme brulee, which was amazing. I never had creme brulee before. I honestly didn't, wasn't sure if I'd like it because... It sounded like it could be eggy-ish, and I don't like eggy desserts, like a very eggy custard type thing. I don't like, but this stuff was bomb. It's just like a very rich vanilla pudding with like a toasted sugar top that kind of reminds me of the outside of a marshmallow when you toast it, which is also always my favorite part of the marshmallow when you roast it. <laughs> but anyway, it was very good. Then... Eventually, we went and we had dinner at, I don't know if that was Saturday. I think it was Saturday. Yeah, it had to have been Saturday. We went to, oh, God. It was a marina, or as Leilani would call it, uh, marinara. <laughs> oh, Sinbad's. Sinbad's Marina. It was actually one of the places that I had looked up for us to have like different options to eat because I don't eat meat like I only eat some seafood so I kind of had a plan a little bit of like what I could eat in the area and that was one of the things that came up and we were supposed to go to the Brazilian steakhouse again for like the third year in a row and shit happened and we didn't go um basically they screwed us over and we had a reservation and they overbooked so they just canceled our reservation so we had to go somewhere else um sinbad's was good um it turns out i don't like crab very much or at least not alaskan crab that's not seasoned at all uh but it was still nice it was a nice big we had a huge table because there was like 30 of us um had some drinks just chatted chilled whatever um the steaks looked really good but I don't eat steak, so I, I tell you, I was tempted though. <laughs> Over a year not eating any of that, I was tempted because it looked really freaking good. But yeah, I didn't do that. Um, then we just went back to the hotel, chilled. Uh, did we hang out that day? I think we did because like Gizzer was trying to get me to hang out on Friday, and I told him like I feel sick, I need a shower, like I can't. But then Saturday we hung out in the room a little bit. Um, then I went back, and Sunday we went to the convention, stayed there longer. That's when I got all my items. Then round, oh, no, that was Monday. I ended up going, oh, I took Leilani to the airport as well as Nick. Because I guess they had similar flights or the same flight or whatever. So I took both of them to the airport, and then from there I went to my grandparents' house only to find out that they hadn't had power since nine in the morning. So they had no power whatsoever. Mind you, I'm already full blown sick and tired and just whatever. And the house was freezing. I was like, I can't do this. So I was either going to leave that night and just go home early or I don't know. So I text fresh and I'm like, is your power out? Cause I guess there was this huge thing across Detroit that weekend where like hundreds of thousands of people were without power. Um, so yeah, I text Fresh. I'm like, do you guys have power? He's like, yeah. I was like, my grandparents don't have power. <laughs> and he's like, oh, well, Don has like an extra room that isn't being used. Do you just want to use it? And I'm like, hell yeah. Like I need warmth. I need a bed to sleep. Like I'm already sick. I can't do this. So I ended up going back downtown <laughs> and then hung out with them more. And then went to bed next morning, hung out with them more. 
then met up with my mom for a little bit. By that point, I was just done with life. I could barely talk. I kept losing my voice intermittently through the weekend. Um, and coughing, just ugh. I was ready to go home. So our lunch was pretty brief. <laughs> um, and then I just went home. And then when I got here, I just laid in bed. Luckily, I had taken the next two days off of work, knowing from last year that I needed at least. It's like I took a day extra last year and it still kind of wasn't enough. So I took two this year, which is great because I was sick. So I needed those two days to get better. So by the time I went back to work, I was still like congested, and, but yet my nose was running. <laughs> doesn't make sense but it was doing that but as far as the fatigue and the f the hot cold flash type things that was done by the time I went, went back to work which was good also wasn't losing my voice like I was which is good because I do take calls at my job sometimes and I gotta be able to talk <laughs> so yeah I know that was like <laughs> probably more than you guys probably wanted to know but yeah Spring vaping yoga girl spring lassiter. That is a long ass name. I'm gonna call you spring vaping because <laughs> I can't be doing all that. Yeah, and I guess Leilani's fight was delayed. Bryson, I also met Bryson from Flavora. Really nice dude. I didn't spend much time with him because he was at mainly the Friday. Uh, business to business thing and then Saturday and since I wasn't really at the convention those two days I didn't see him a whole lot but we had the noodles he was there at the noodle place um he gave me Flavora Oriental tobacco because I had mentioned on a show I didn't have that one so he surprised me with that that was nice um just a cool dude really chill really laid back easygoing whatever um, so it was cool to meet him in person because when I talk to people at Flavora, it's usually him. So it was nice to see the person in person. <laughs> um, I didn't really meet mm, other, many other people, like as far as just random people. I know there was like, a few people that watched me that said that they were going, but I assume maybe they went on Saturday or they just saw me and didn't want to say hi. <laughs> uh, that happens from time to time. I guess people get nervous or they think they're bothering the person. I don't really know. I've been told I'm unapproachable, so it could be that too. Plus, I was feeling sick, so I probably wasn't looking all that pleasant either. Um, but yeah, just in case any of you do see me in person, like if you want to say hi, like say hi. Like I'm not going to be a bitch to you or anything. Uh, I have resting bitch face, so if I look just super bitchy, that's just how I look. <laughs> Don't be offended by it. Uh, let's see what else. <clears throat> I don't know. I think that's it as far as Detroit's concerned. I don't really have anything else to talk about, I don't think. Um, my lips are super dry. I don't know what it is. <laughs> movie star yeah it's not about a movie star I definitely don't have that going on but I just know that you know it doesn't matter who it is like you might just be timid intimidated to say hi to somebody in person it's just weird it can be very awkward I did not see that. That sucks. Well, RIP Art Bell. <laughs> I'm very approachable as long as I have my coffee. Actually, I, I need my monster. This lady, she worked at this coffee booth in the hotel. Very nice group of ladies. So I don't have anything uh, to... Um... And that was another thing too, I forgot to mention. All the employees at the casino and the Motor City Hotel that I dealt with were all super friendly, whether it was the buffet person, the people working in the the coffee areas, like this little deli, not deli, but like bakery-ish, like you get bagels and shit like that there. 
um, people at the front desk. All of them were super friendly with the exception of one dude that was kind of not. But most of them were super friendly, like to the point where it was like, uh, it was kind of shocking that they were just so nice. Um, so I was really, I really liked staying there. Uh, this isn't like sponsored by a Motor City Casino Hotel or whatever. But I was just surprised because honestly, I had never heard of the casino. It was kind of like in a weird area. So I was kind of expecting it to maybe not be that great. But it was, I thought it was great. I thought it was a really nice place to stay. <clears throat> but yeah, if I'm hungry, yeah, I can be bitchy. But I wouldn't do that to somebody that I just met. Like I would be purposefully less me because <laughs> like the thing is is like people that know me get me like they know that hey she's just touchy sometimes or she's just kind of comes off across as bitchy sometimes they know that's just how i am it's not that i'm a bitch necessarily i just can be bitchy if that makes sense but like new people that don't really know my personality and all that's how i am it could come across really badly so i would purposefully be like or cognizant of that to not scare somebody. <laughs> oh yeah, getting back to the coffee thing. Now, the lady was really nice, really sweet, but, like, she totally effed up my coffee. <laughs> I meant to ask my friend Allie, because she actually works at Starbucks. I don't know if she still works there, but she worked there. Um, how they make an iced caramel macchiato, because <laughs> they had a caramel macchiato on their little sign that you can choose from, but I don't like hot coffee that much. I prefer cold Uh and I really wanted to ice caramel macchiato. So I asked her, I'm like, do you know how to make that? Or I was like, do you have that or whatever? And she like asked the lady and she's like, oh yeah, yeah. But then she starts making it and she's like asking me how to make it. Like, I don't know. I don't work at Starbucks. <laughs> she's like, do you have this? Like, it's just like an ice caramel macchiato iced, right? I'm like, I don't know. I don't think so, but I don't know. It was definitely not right. <laughs> like kudos for trying, but you know, in the future, if you don't know how to make something, just say you don't know how to make it. It was like, if I was a bitch, I'd be like, this is not good. Like, remake it. But I'm just not that type of person. I was just like, whatever. I'll try to deal with it. It was just too sweet. It just wasn't right. Um, so, yeah, I just, like, made me want, like, a real coffee really badly. I don't remember what I ended up doing. It doesn't really matter. But, yeah, I think... Another thing I'll probably do next year is just bring monsters. It seems like no matter where we go, like they fuck up my coffee or whatever. I just need my monster in the morning. I think that would help too. Yeah. Um... Well, overall, it was nice hanging out with everyone. I wish I wasn't sick the entire time, obviously. But I don't know. It was just chill. Like, it's pretty much like the gist of it. It was just chill. <clears throat> I got to meet Jesse. Um, never met him in person. Got to meet Nick Devine. Never really talked or met him either. Super nice dude. Don't know much else. Just very nice. And makes good coils, apparently. Um, you know, obviously Gizzard Fresh was there, Dawn, Lifa, Daniel, uh, yeah, oh, and then, um, Big Natty was there as well as Roro, but I didn't see them much either because I think they were there Friday and Saturday, or at least Saturday. So I only saw them at dinner, and Roro had to go back home that night. Seems like that's always the case. Like She's always leaving when I see her. But I did get to see her briefly, so that was nice. Um, I live in Ohio, around Cleveland. Um, I was born in Michigan. Only lived there a couple years, though, but spent most of my life in the Northeast Ohio area. 
can't say that I like it, but it's here. <laughs> <laughs> Mad <laughs> Gizzard and his nicknames. Yeah, I didn't think about it when we were at the liquor store. I was like more focused on the liquor part, and I just figured we'd be around. It's like that's one thing about the Double Tree, is they had a Starbucks right in the lobby. So every morning I knew I could have my Starbucks and they actually knew how to make everything because I'd usually get a caramel, iced caramel macchiato from them. Um, and Daniel was nice enough to do a couple of Starbucks runs while we were in the hotel. But by, by that point I was sick. So all I wanted was tea because my throat was just so itchy and just, ugh, it was horrible. But yeah, I think that's what I'll have to do is just buy a bunch of monsters so I know I have my caffeine like I'm used to. So apparently I just can't go without caffeine. I tried yesterday and it didn't go very well. I fell asleep by like 6 o'clock in the evening, which is ridiculous. But anyway, um, wrapping things up, I'm trying to be done by 2. So I'm pretty sure Daytime Frank's show is at 2. So, plus I've been doing this for long enough. I'm just kind of rambling at this point. Well, pretty much rambling through it all. But, <laughs> like I said, you guys should be used to that by now. So, if you have any questions or anything, that would be the time to ask. Um, be sure to check out Mix and Vixens tonight at 6 p.m. Eastern Standard Time. We're having our judging review show tonight. And it's pretty much where we each submit what we feel is our best recipe from the month to our panel to just discuss and go over what they like and don't like or whatever. Just kind of a peer review type thing. Um, not to be taken super seriously. It's just something to do. It's nice to get feedback from people about, you know, your mixes. So be sure to check that out tonight. Um, what else? Not really much else. Um, it was a funny story about my massage yesterday. So I love my massage lady. She's just, I've talked about her before. Great person. Just, she's one of those people that you could just tell is a good person. Like she just has this aura about her where she just wants to help people and she wants them to be happy and da 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 da. da. So every week she, at, or not every week, every appointment, it's usually once a month. She asked me, you know, how I'm doing because she knows I'm stressed out about, you know, usually work. So we were talking about that and her next appointment just happened to be a counselor or a therapist, whatever. And he kind of, I guess, specializes in, I don't know if he specializes in work problems or helping people find like jobs that are suited for them or whatever, but I guess it's something that he did. So she's like, well, you know, I can introduce you to him and maybe you guys can talk or whatever. So I was like, okay. <clears throat> Massage was done. He was there. So she told kind of like a little bit about me and she's like, you know, help her. She's such a great person, whatever. And I was like, whatever. <laughs> so like we were talking and cause like, I don't know. I'm at this place where it's like, I don't know what I want to do professionally. I've talked to a lot of people about it and they offer feedback and suggestions, but it's just like, I don't know. It just, I, I still don't really know what I want to do. So I was talking to him and he gave me some things to think about. So I want to talk to my friend because he did mention something in the medical field, which isn't really something I wanted to do in the past, but I guess there are things that like cert certain certifications you can get that are quicker and like more specialized. Um, that I can get into pretty quickly. And the medical field is something like where they're always looking for people. So it might be better to get into definitely be better money if I could get into it. Um, Cause that's the thing that I want to do. Like I want to do something cause I was thinking about it the other night and I've thought about it many times, but it's like, I want to do something that helps people. Cause like 
one of the reasons I do this still, like the whole vaping video thing, is because I do feel like it does help people. You know, I don't have a huge reach or audience, but if I can help just a couple of people, you know, I feel like I'm doing something. Like I want to do something that contributes beneficially to the world <laughs> as like cheesy and like Miss America as that sounds. I do. Like I want to help people. I want to make a good positive difference. And I want a job that does that. And what I'm doing now and pretty much everything I've done in the past, I mean, yeah, it contributes something like it. Are you serious? <laughs> oh my God. That is so fucking weird. Oh my God. Vapex. That is one of the things he, that, that has to be a sign. That has to be a sign. The phlebotomy thing. That's where you draw blood, right? Drawing blood. So I swear that's what he said yesterday. That is freaking weird. I'm going to have to look into it now because it's two different people that's brought that up. That is insane. That that's giving me chills. Like that's weird. Um, that's one of the things he, that's like the first thing he suggested, suggested because it's like a six month program and you make like really good money. And it's like, you're pretty much just doing that. You don't have to deal with like a ton of people. This is what it was doing earlier. This is so annoying. And I'm a hard line into the freaking thing. So it should not be internet. <sighs> anyway. So that's weird though. That's weird that both of you guys brought that up. And that was like the first thing he suggested to me is that career path. So I'm going to talk to my friend. She actually just graduated and um, got her certification and everything to be a nurse. So I think if anyone would know... And she knows me very well. We've known each other for probably a decade now. If that would be something that she thinks I could be good in. So I'm going to talk to her. I'm going to ask around. He said the classes are pretty, like you just do them a couple hours, you know, every so often. Um, I think you can do them at Tri-C. Not entirely sure. I'd have to look into it. But yeah, that's that's odd. Two different people saying the same thing. It's It's got to be something. Um yeah, I don't mind blood or anything, so that it wouldn't be an issue. I'd probably be very weary about poking people at first, but I don't know. Like I said, two different people have to, you know, I don't know. Uh, yeah, I don't want to be sticking babies. <laughs> I don't know if I want to do that. But yeah, I would be. It, it would be at a hospital. And the good thing about the hospital thing is... Um, I already know people that work at hospitals, so it's a good, possibly good references or whatever. Um, well, the thing about the monotony is, is like I could start there and it doesn't mean I have to stay there, but it would be a good way to get in. And then if I, because I mean, honestly, like my job right now is very monotonous. Like it's so boring. I don't make good money. At least at this place, if this thing was boring or whatever, I'd be making good money doing it. Like probably at least double what I'm making now. And it would have room to expand to other places. And I would be helping people. Um, if I was good at it, though, I don't know if I'd be good at it. Because I know, it's like I have deep veins, even when I was thin and all that good stuff. They always had problems finding my veins. So more often than not, I would have bruising and it would be painful. Um, so that's something to be concerned about is like a lot of people aren't good at it. So I don't know. I'm going to, like I said, I'm going to ask my friend. She's in the field. She knows me very well to see if it's something that 
she thinks could possibly be, you know, a good thing for me. Um, but yeah, I mean, it wouldn't be exactly the same thing. Like everybody's different. It would be challenging, I think. Um, but yeah, like the, definitely with hospitals and stuff like that, they're always needing people. And I always knew I didn't want to be like a nurse or anything, but maybe something like that. Like I thought about radiology at one point. So I don't know. I, I think I'm going to talk about it, but like the guy said, he's like, if you're going to, going to choose a different career path, now would be the time to do it because, um, you know, I'm getting older, <laughs> you know, like I know it's not old, but I am getting older. I'm getting to the point where I need to make a decision so I can be set up for retirement if that's what I choose to do. Um, plus, I mean, I was just thinking the other day, it's like, I always rush through my week. I can't wait for the weekend to come. And it's like, I'm rushing through my life and I don't want to do that. So I need to figure it out. So talking to him yesterday was like completely random. And I still can't believe that that person, like you're not the guy, are you? I'm pretty sure the dude doesn't vape though. And he was 72. So I don't think it's you, but that is just weird. Two different people. And I've never even heard of that before. Like when he said phlebotomy, I was thinking about lobotomy. Like I don't want to be doing lobo lobotomies on people, but I'm like, it can't be the same thing. I've never heard of that word before two different people that's weird really freaking weird um yeah worses yeah worses nurses yeah they definitely have it rough definitely and they have to clean up after things that i don't want to have to clean up after um so yeah nursing i don't think would be good for me i'd definitely be one of those bitchy nurses that you just are like why is she so bitchy I, I don't need that. <laughs> but yeah, I think I'm going to look into it. I just, I don't want to go back to school for an extended period of time. I just, after my last venture with getting my degree, it was just so hellacious. I don't want to have to deal with that again, plus all the money. So yeah, I don't want to do anything long. But anyway, I'm going to get out of here, especially considering like YouTube's freaking out and it's two o'clock. So I'm going to get out of here. But anyway, like I said before, Check out Mixin Vixens tonight, 6 p.m. Eastern Standard Time. And check out like our little panel review thing. Bye.